on as you sleep. Here's to hoping that this goes well. All right, beginning in mountain pose. Hopefully in the frame of the camera. We can be together or we can be separated in parallel with some softness to the knees. We'll just bring the hands to heart center and the shoulders come comfortably down the back. Take a couple of breaths here, breathing in and out. Not trying to control the breath, just being comfortable breathing in and out. We'll release the hands toward the hips. We'll take a breath in as we lift the sternum toward the ceiling. And we'll take the gaze gently upward. If the arms are forward, that's okay, as long as the shoulders feel comfortable holding the arms up. And then we can exhale, return the spine to neutral. If you were able to find some extension, if you don't like extension, not to worry. Let's take a couple more, breathing in, lifting the chest, keeping the shoulders comfortably down the back, exhaling back down to heart center. And this time we'll stay up Breathing in as we come up. And then if you like, you can interlace the fingers into a point or a church top. We can let the body return to neutral if it was in extension. Make sure the shoulders are comfortable. Take a breath. Exhale with a small bend to one side, coming into your standing side crescent moon bend. Taking about three breaths here, nice and comfortable. And then coming back up on an inhale and exhaling the very heavy arms now down to heart center. We're releasing the hands, inhaling up. Extension if it feels right to you. Exhaling as you interlace the fingers into the church top or the steeple. Inhaling in this position and exhaling, going into the standing crescent side bend, or crescent moon side bend. Again, taking about three comfortable breaths here. And then inhaling back to the top and exhaling the very heavy arms and shoulders back to heart center. From this position, we'll go into our chair pose. So, turning to the side. The idea is to keep a neutral spine. Legs can be hip distance just past or totally together, whatever feels right to you. We can keep the hands in a prayer shape at heart center as long as we have the shoulders coming down the back to release tension from the uh, tops of the shoulders and neck. The idea here is to take a breath in as you sit the hips back, bending the knees. The idea is to keep the chest lifted without coming into this arc. You'll most likely tilt forward in a hinge, that's fine, as long as you don't go here. If you feel like things are rounded, come up just a little bit. Most of us can't sit very far in our chair pose. Those that can are forcing the line. We've been here for a moment, so we're gonna inhale. Everything lifts back up to that upward salute shape. We'll exhale, take the heart, hands back to heart center. Then we'll inhale, sit back to chair, and exhale, press through the heels and the whole of the foot back up. Inhale, arms come up in a salute. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, sitting back comfortably to the chair. Exhale, pressing through the entire back line up. Inhale to upward salute. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sitting back to that chair, and then exhaling back 
up. From this position, we can add on with the arms. So we'll give a little bit of that to get us into our warrior one. Here we go. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, sit it back to that chair position. Torso is gonna feel like it's coming forward. That's okay. There's a weight shift here. You may need to end up taking your arms fully forward to get there. That's okay, clearly you're not alone. We'll take all of the weight into one foot and step the other one back and rotate it at the hip so that we can place the heel on the floor. If we tilted forward and the arms went with us, we can slowly lift torso and arms comfortably at the same time into our warrior one. Check in with the front leg. You want the knee to be over the ankle. I'm a little bit forward, so I've got to shift back. That makes me a lot more comfortable in both of my hips. Also, if you would like a super challenge, you can do the uh, whoo, warrior one extreme, although no, thank you. So, we're here in an actual comfortable warrior one. If you feel like your arms falling off, current hands are always okay, or peaceful surrender arms, those both work as long as we feel comfortable in our back line. All right, from our warrior one, we can take the arms to heart center. We're gonna rotate the torso, squaring off the hips, leaving the knee still facing forward over the ankle. And then we can open out the arms to a T shape, relaxing them comfortably down. Palms can face to the floor, to the audience, wherever feels good. This back foot can also kind of square off and even wiggle or step out. I've got the arch of the back foot in line with the front heel. This knee sometimes wants to fall in on folks. It takes a lot of booty to kind of open that out. If you feel like this is awful and I'm dying, we can step this foot in and still get the hip opening here. If you're like me and your shoulders are falling off, whew, prayer is always an acceptable place to go. Same with the peaceful surrendering uh, arms reaching comfortably down without being <laughs> down. Once we're here in our warrior two or our warrior two, and we've been here for a moment, we're gonna take it to our standing wide angle forward fold. So this front leg is gonna rotate at the hip coming up onto the ball of the foot. That way we can extend. Our arms are already out. So if you want the challenge, you can push your butt back behind you and kind of hinge forward to take your arms to the floor in a swan dive. And the side profile would be here with the neutral spine butt lifted. This is about as far as I can hinge through the hamstrings. So I've got some choices. I can bend my knees or uh, step it out significantly wider to get the hands to the floor. I can also put a yoga block underneath my hands or any combination. But where we left off is we're here in kind of a star position with a moderately comfortable, just a little past uh, shoulder distance stance with very heavy arms at this point. So I'm actually gonna take my hands to my hips because this feels better to me. I'm going to bend my knees, hinge forward, bend my knees as much as I need to to get my fingertips to the floor where they can comfortably support me. This is different than the pocket of air. I'm actually lifted up on just the fingertips. Once I'm here, if I'm able, I can lengthen through the hamstrings. Clearly I cannot, that's okay. I have a nice neutral spine. I can feel my hamstrings asking for what length they're gonna get. My body weight is centered on all the parts of my foot and my fingertips are just here to make sure I don't face plant. If you feel good about this place, you can always clasp the elbows and come into a hang. Ooh, this is a nice uh, lower back decompression. Notice that it didn't change the extension of my hamstrings. You can also take hold 
of the ankles. I do have a little bit more leverage here if I wanted to extend, but only for a short burst because I'm stiff. So I'm going to take my fingertips back down to the floor. We've also been upside down for a fair amount of time, so we're going to take a little bit more weight into our fingertips if you are folded forward. Come back to a more neutral shape and heel ball toe your feet back into parallel. They don't have to be together. They can be a comfortable distance for you. Keep the knees bent and slowly roll that spine back up on an inhale to your fountain. Where we left off is we went from our chair in an upward salute through our warriors. So rinsing and repeating. We'll inhale as we lift everything up to an upward salute. This time we'll exhale into our chair with salute position or hands at heart center, depending upon what your spirit feels like, or even hands to hips. Once we're here, shift the weight so that the free leg can step back and rotate through that hip so that everything is extended and able to make contact with the floor. If you're like, no, I'm gonna be here with my foot lifted at the heel and my knee slightly bent, it is still cool. Check in with this front knee, make sure it's still over the ankle. I need to do some wiggling and then we can lift the torso to an upright shape. And if the arms are coming forward, it's okay. Mine are super heavy. Whew. So heart centered is fine. And we'll hold here. What Bear is mentioning, this is technically chill, but I'm also breathing fairly hard. So like, I may not be like <sighs> making my way through this, but I'm very warm now. This is challenging for, I would hope everyone, with the hands at heart center, I'm gonna rotate my torso, squaring off my hips. My back leg also gets to rotate to a more comfortable position so that the toes are out and the arch and the heel are in line. And then if I would like to take my arms to a T, yeah, okay, I guess I will. I can stay here in my Warrior Two. There's tons of fun things that we can do in a Warrior Two, but you know, one thing at a time. So we'll hold here, checking in, making sure that this knee is not wanting to come in, that the toes and knee are facing the same direction, probably feeling a significant amount of glute need. And then from our Warrior Two, we'll take it to our standing wide angle forward fold by lifting onto the ball of the foot briefly so that we can rotate the entire leg at the hip joint into a star position, taking a breath in. And on the exhale, hinging at the hips to come into the fold. You'll notice my hinge is limited, so I'll need to bend my knees and flash my audience. But in my case, we just come to a side profile. Still got my knees bent. I hinged as far as I could. Once I could hinge no more, I released into a round spine shape so that my fingertips could rest comfortably on the carpet. And then I extended through my hamstrings in a parallel shape as best as I comfortably could. Once we've got this established, we can come to the uh, elbow hang, releasing the low back if we like. Some folks like to rock side to side. I get absolutely nothing out of that, but hey, if it suits you, go for it. And again, you have other options, such as taking hold of the ankles to help with the lengthening, also a wider or a narrower stance, whatever suits you. But now we've been upside down for a while, so we shall lift up to a more parallel with the floor position. Also, this can still be done on a stack of books, yoga block, footstool, uh, ottoman, etc. Underneath your hands, and we will heel ball toe everything in, making sure that we keep that bent knee shape. We'll take a full breath in and out here in our forward fold. And then we'll inhale as we draw the belly button toward the back of the spine nice and gently and roll ourselves back up to mountain. Turn and face some folks and then we'll take one last breath in and up. And then we'll exhale down. 
hopefully my camera didn't run out and I will bid you uh, namaste and I'll do the entire sequence with far less directions in case you're feeling the flow of spirit. So there you have it.